This video is going to teach you how to convert an old audio tape into a file for the computer. First, you're going to want to download Audacity Portable or um, for the Windows PC or for Mac, depending on what you're running. Then, I'm just going to show it on PC. It's a similar process on, consists on Mac. I will post another video um, showing how to do the Mac version of it. So, I'm going to run the Portable Audacity app. It's going to prompt me saying what language I'm interested in keeping. It's just going to ask, um, give me more information about the installer and everything. And then, here's the location. Um, and by default, I believe it always goes to a subfolder of where you have the folder location. So it's right here. And here, so I'm just, just going to make another folder here. I'm just going to click install. It's going to extract all the files. I'm going to run Audacity like that. I'm actually not going to, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm just keeping the folder for Audacity Portable as I created it. Now if I open it up, it'll show me multiple things. All of you are concerned with Windows Portable or Audacity Portable, and you might not see that yet. So I'm going to run this, and it's going to prompt me. The first time you run it, it's going to prompt you with this. I always click OK. Um, and then this, I always click Don't Show at Startup, and then boom. And now you have Audacity Portable installed to your computer without administering any privileges. The next step I can't show you, but I will talk you through how to set it up. What you're going to be doing is um, hooking up the tape player to your PC so that the PC can under so the PC gets the audio from the tape. So your tape player needs a headphone jack um, on it. That you need a tape player that supports that. And then your computer, you need a mic port, a mic audio port in your computer accessible. So what you also need is a male-to-male -male audio um, transfer port. It's really cheap and easy to buy, and you don't even need one too. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug one end um, of that male-to-male -male, um, audio um, cable into your device, into your computer, into the microphone thing. So not the um, headphone jack, but into the microphone jack. And then on your tape recorder, you're going to plug that one into the headphone jack. So what it's going to be tricking, what you're doing is tricking the computer into thinking, or you're tricking the audio recorder to think that you're listening to what it's playing um, through it, earphones, and then you're tricking the computer into thinking that what you're doing is you're using the microphone um, to record information. So that's the way how that works. So after you finish um, setting up that part, and make sure your, your um, computer, it's in the microphone slot, the audio is in the microphone slot, and your um, tape recorder, it is in the headphone slot. Now, I will continue on to how to Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be
or like audio tracks on your tape recorder and just this thing will just continuously record and this program is nice because you don't have to worry about any outside noise which should not affect it because you're not using a microphone you're just plugging it directly in so that's one good reason why this is a really good way of doing it so now that i have this i recommend always saving the project first once you have it completed so i'm going to save it accordingly um i save it to save right here and I'm going to name it test or no this test will be something super obvious um, it's actually right here for the pack and stuff um, uh, this is the way how audacity saves its app uh, its stuff do this again make sure you're in the folder and then click on save and that's just the way how audacity does its stuff I believe you can export it by um, just clicking export and it will export the song depending on whatever format you want test put it in this folder save it and that's if you want to put anything you want there's these are just extra steps you can read if you want I don't really need to go through all that and then you could put in let's see what else should I put in here uh, let me find it so I figured out what the problem was it was because whenever I try and export it it um, gives me another message that I did not read this one it's saying that I cannot find this file because it needs it to create this mp3 file which is it's probably just a conversion file. What you can do is you can click download. It'll bring you to this web page, which will ask you, or which will give you steps on how to download it. What you do is you just click this link and go to this site. Scroll all the way down until you see this zip option. Um, choose the zip, so lib mp3 lame win 3.9 game launch. Um, there pro there might be some other ones you can try to do. So just download the zip file. Zip version. You can save the file or open it. I'm just going to save it um, to a location. I am going to actually save it to this location. I'm going to say copy that and save it because I'm going to see this on my zip.org or you can install whichever one you need um, you open up archive um, you open up this folder and right here this lame underscore enc.dpl this is the only file you need you just drag it into here if you, I believe all it needs to be is right in this location and you can delete the zip file you don't need it anymore and when I run now if I click browse I can show it right there and it will um, and click OK and you I've been praying hard. So now I'm going. So that's the way how you actually um, export it into an MP3, an entire file. I do kind of recommend um, exporting the entire song to an MP3 and saving it to Audacity because you never know what happens. So um, the so the recorded file is still here, and then the exported file is still here. So it's in a different part of the world. Now I'm going to continue on showing you how to split up your song into multiple different tracks okay so say you have one long recording of like five songs i'm going to show you how to split it into the individual five songs into the individual parts okay so now i am going to show you how to label the audio into its different tracks so basically it's going to create say you have a long huge compilation of like five songs and you want to split them up into five different individual songs now what you all you have to do is load the song in as you can see I have this song loaded I'm going to just cut it in the middle just because I can so the way how you do it is you put tracks add label at section it'll bring up this new thing and if you go over back to the very beginning you'll see this new thing you can either move the entire thing like this by clicking one of these little ball things or by clicking the arrows to adjust the size so I am going to make this from the very beginning to it's kind of hard to mess with this. I'm going to 
move this thing out to good distance. It um, There probably are easier ways to do this. I just do the dragging method. Um, you can even make this larger. So then it's easier to drag. You can drag more. So I'm going to drag it at 15 seconds-ish. So this is going to be... Um, um, and then you can name it. So I'll name this part 1. Why not? Um, so as you can see, this entire section is called part 1. And now I'm going to make a part 2. Let's just keep it at that. So it's tracks. Um, oh, whoops. Tracks. Add label at section. And then I'm going to also make it at the, where this section end, or begins. Or ends. Sorry. Right there. And then I am going to go to the end of this. And I kind of am off here. It's close enough. Something like that. And now I'm going to name this part 2. So now I have my individual parts. Say you wanted more, you can just keep doing the same steps over and over again. And um, until you have all of your different song parts. So then what you're going to do is file, export multiple. And it's going to ask you the location. This um, location is actually right here. I'm going to make a new folder in Audacity call, uh, called... Um, Molts export, and I'm going to export all of those files to there. Um, and now I am going to, um, that's just the file location, and I'm just going to check all these things, they all should be correct. I'm going to export now, it will allow you to um, edit the track name, the track number, and all of these things. You can do it if you want, you don't have to. But then I'm going to click OK, and this is the second track. Edit all the values for that, and click OK, and then it's going to say it successfully exported these two files to that format. I believe I can change it, so let me just test if I can. Export multiple. Um, where is the number choose option? Oh, here it is. Other I'm compressing options. I always like MP3 because it's most universal. I always forget to go. It's the export format. Make sure it's MP3. Click export, and same steps, part one, part two. And now it will export it successfully. If you do not have this, um, if you do not have this test, or if you do not have this um, DLL file, whatever it is, in the location of this, you will not be. It will most likely give you an error. So if I delete this and try exporting it again, it's going to give me that error. So if I undo my delete, so. Um, I undid it, my delete, I browse for the location, it's right there, so click OK, and now it will successfully do it. So now I'm going to go to the folder, multiple exports, as you can see, the, these are the first two files, the default file type is WAV, um, I always recommend doing an MP3. If you look, you can see this first clip is 15, this second clip is 16 seconds, and this is about a 31 second thing, so... I did, it did cut it into the two different parts that I wanted. So if I play this part, there shouldn't be anything at the beginning, but then at this part, yeah, it starts been, the song. And it cuts it right there where I put the stop. And then here it continues it. So say those were two different songs, it would do it. So if I went and started playing it right here, it would show that it continues over like it did. So that is how to, um, that is how to take a recording from a tape recorder and convert it into a media file on your PC. I hope this helped and please message if you need any help. And just a side note, I will try and make a Mac version later. It, it, it follows similar steps, but um, there are, I'm, I believe it follows similar steps, it just looks a little bit different.